I was being with a friend of mine, Calvin Mary. I bought that TV that was in the moldy law for five years. She suggested me to get this thing out and try to see if it still works. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do now. This one is from 95 to 97. It was a kitchen TV back then, but then it go to the bedroom. It was working 24-7 from 2000 to 2008 and it got to the place it got and then that place got really moldy. So this turns out to be almost 5 years in a moldy environment. Cosmetically, it's really worse than ever and it's also missing the front cover which I think I have somewhere. Before I dare to plug this thing in, I'm gonna clean that carbonized mess it has inside and visually check what's going on. Except on the fact that the vacuum didn't do much and I will need a compressed air to blow this thing off. I also noticed that it has a nice speaker inside made by Samsung, as well as a Philips panel. If you ask me, I was really expecting to see at least the vice versa. Now let's start the testing using a 40 watt bulb in series, so we will know that it won't really blow off immediately. After this test I just noticed that the capacitor charge must be too slow. Let's try with 75 watt bulb, then if it won't blow with one that is 100. There we go, there we go. All right. Oops. <laughs> Thank you.
Yep. It seems to work too great, but I noticed that the bulb was becoming brighter and the image was going for a walk. So I shut it off immediately. Now let's try again to see if it still works. Oops, I fucking again. Oh man. Damn it. As the same thing's happening, I think I'll let it go for now. Can be lack of current. Maybe something tries to blow up, although the event looks too programmed. Maybe power supply reaper, a protection mode, who knows? And I'm really afraid of that flyback transformer, as it's really old and tries to whine too much on me. It's really not too bad for being five years in mold. <laughs>